Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Pepe collaboration plus the wedding content that's going to be coming to Legend of Mushroom. Sorry guys, I'm just going to jump in right here and tell you about this amazing thing that Aptoid is going to do. They're going to release a coupon for the Pepe event on the 26th, so only that day they're going to be a 5% extra cash back for whatever purchases you do in game. Of course, use mine as well as use theirs. So on every purchase on the 26th, you will get an additional 5% from theirs and 5% cash back from mine. That's 10% of what you've spent right back in your account. With on top of that, being able to bypass some of the taxes that, for example, Apple puts on the in-game products. So why not save a little bit of money, but only on the 26th. All right, back to the video. So the Pepe content is going to be coming on the 26th, so in two days on Friday. I'm not too sure about the wedding, so don't quote me on that. For the Pepe content, let's start out with that. We're going to be getting a pair of wings, a artifact, a mount, pet, a costume, and a title. So let's get right into it. Looking at the title and costume first. You can see here that we're going to get a Swagger costume, which will give you 1% global HP. It is not the best. I would rather go for global attack. But get if you didn't have any of these other ones, getting a global HP will definitely help you out getting some more HP. But still, think about it before you do it. If we go further here, we have in the costume, we have a friend title here. Where it will say it feels good, man. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. We have the pants, we have the eyes, we have <laughs> another Pepe with the toilet paper, everything, with the soap. This is just, it feels good, man, right? So, amazing. <laughs> then we have a pair of wings we can take a look at. So, after 8 seconds into the battle or when HP falls below 70%, 75% for the first time, increase own attack by 5%, and reduce enemies attack by 5%. After 15 seconds into battle, or when HP falls below 50% of the first time, increase own damage reduction by 5%, and reduce all damage re uh, enemies damage reduction by 5%. After 20% into battle, 20 seconds, or 25 HP, um, for the first time gain 8 HP regeneration, and deal 8% of max HP as damage to all enemies. Wow, that's a long one. Um, it's a good one uh, because you, you don't have to wait all the seconds. You don't have to wait like the first, what was it, 8 seconds, then 15, then 20, and then 20. Uh, yeah. yeah, then 20. You don't have to wait all that. You will just need to almost die. <laughs> so... This is amazing, uh, kinda. It has its niche uses because I think 5% attack will not be doing anything in PvP. In PvE, it could do something. Um, definitely to bosses, like 5% is still a lot to bosses. And it's all enemies, so if you're like using it on the stages, it would hit all of them. So it could it could really be uh, it could be great uh, definitely over some of the others that we've seen I'm pretty sure we've seen this one and this is for the skill damage then we have the defensive attack one and then we have this one so if you don't have one just like with the costume it might be worth getting one so you at least have one I myself have been thinking about getting this just because one looks amazing <laughs> and two it actually seems like it's gonna help you out a lot uh, throughout the battle if you're feeling like you're dying really quick this is gonna help you give you some damage reduction give you some um, attack reduction for the enemies and then hit them for eight percent of max HP so nice that is that it seems nice it seems really good on paper uh, definitely in my opinion then we do have pals here where I think this is just a troll one, but we do a Pepe, sad Pepe here, where he's going to be giving you a healing plus of 0.1%. Uh, this, <laughs> this, of course, does not seem good at all, but 
I don't think they're going to be using a lot of money or like selling it for a lot of money. So it could be a nice mascot. If you guys didn't know, you can go to instances or battles, whatever it's called here. You can go to guard ruin and you can choose your own. Let's give a sec. You can choose your own mascot. So you could choose Pepe and then, <laughs> then Pepe will be right here. That could be nice if it's not too <laughs> if it's not too much, I think maybe uh, highest I would buy that for is ten bucks. I don't think anything on that will be worth it. I don't even think ten bucks will be worth it, but I think it's just so funny to have that. So yeah, definitely something to look out for how much it is, and if you want to have something fun, it could be worth it. <laughs> then we have a mount. So we do have an advanced mount here with the Pepe. Uh, we have it right here. One happy one, one sad one. And this is actually a one that you need a lot of RNG. <laughs> because I am not sure. Uh, well, it's not much RNG when I read it. Because, okay. At the, end of, uh, at the beginning of battle, switch between the following effects every 8 seconds. Gain a shield equal to 8% of max HP, lasting 8 seconds, of course. Gain increased attack by 8% and reducing crowd control durations by 30% lasting 8 seconds so as I'm reading it but as I interpret it is that no matter what you're going to start out with the shield which is nice and then you're going to gain the attack increase and then and then the crowd reduction right so that is what I'm thinking but what I also could interpret this as is you could start with the attack and then go over to shield. And I'm not sure which one I would like the most. Um, I'm just... I think the attack would be pretty nice. Having at first to break the other person's shield in PvP. And then when everything, every shield has been broken. After 8 seconds you will gain a shield then. That could be great. Like that is something that definitely could be worth it. Definitely something that I need to watch out for because I have a mount. I have the pirate breaker that I'm using right now, and yeah, it's kind of getting a little bit too much. So, yeah. all right, let's now take a look at the marriage side of things. So right now we're gonna be looking at the marriage, and we're gonna be looking at the artifact right after. So first, marriage. There is two different things to the marriage. There is the ring you have on here, where if it will load, you will get certain amount of these hearts while you will use to upgrade the level. When you hit the required amount uh, level, 51 here and 101 here, you will probably gain, we, we, I haven't seen anything, you'll probably gain increased stats, but also a extra effect because you can see the initial ring has no extra effects. So I'm guessing these will have them. We're not sure yet. Then we have the venue or the MC. And it is Mr. Beagle that is the head of this. Where you have four things you can do. Leave is just going out of it. Then you have check affection. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. So what you can do here is you get a certain amount of these bubble tea, boba tea things each day. I think it is 10. And then you can buy another 10. These you can send, of course, to one person. And then you would rip will raise your affection towards that person higher and higher. So you can see that EMP Sila and JK has a combined affection of 18,635. And the, the way they have been doing this is through an event, of course. And they've been buying this Boba Tea every single day. You can see that there are faded lovers, there's confident, and further down, there's going to be partner and other sorts of stuff. The way to increase your um, confident or increase your title per chance, you can say, um, is going to this confident. You can check here. Then you can see, okay, you start out as a uh, you start at zero, of course. Then you get to familiar, then partner, then confident. You will gain rewards along the way. So it is nice. After some time to focus on for, uh, focus on more than just one, but you can see our faded lovers, they've already gotten everything. Plus, they get a mutual gold gifting plus a thousand percent. Help accelerate fertilizing plus so p 
plus like 3,100%. That is amazing. Ring bonuses, 30%. When they get a higher one, they get more bonuses, ring bonuses. And that is a 20,000. So they gain a lot from this. So probably in my, what I think it is, you go for one person, like you find that one person that want to do this with you, and then you partner up. You raise it a bunch, and then you can focus on others. And you can see when you are partners. This is the funny thing. This is what I like. Your profile will actually have both of you. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. That is amazing. So yeah. <laughs> They're looking cute. So then we have the compatibil compatibility uh, test here. Where you have to complete all tasks. The these tasks. So increase affectionate with partner by 100 this week. That is just buying these boba teas and using them on the same person and getting 100 from that. Then you have exchange gold with the partner three times this week and help each other fertilize, fertilize, right? So I'll show you how to fertilize first. So you go to their profile, you go to the Shumi farm and you should, you should be able to just help them, see, help fertilize. And then you speed up eight hours, is that eight hours or am I? That is eight hours you're helping them with? Wow. <laughs> Whoa. I'm pretty sure that's eight. Oh, wait, no, that's... Wait, it is... It has to be eight hours. Wow. Okay, but you can't... Then you'll steal from them. <laughs> so you could help them and then steal from them, of course. But that's how you fertilize, and then you have to do that three times, I think it was. Three times? Yeah, a week. So that's pretty easy. And then I will not click divorce. As you can see here, there is a divorce. I will not click that. I don't know what it does. And I don't want to risk anything for their accounts. So in order to exchange gold, you'll have to go on your here. You will have to go to friends and you will have this button that says claim, uh, claim and gift all. That is what you're going to be doing where it will give gold and you'll uh, gain gold. And by doing that, you will gain the bonuses from your partner. And a 1,000 uh, is like insane. That's what, that's 10,000, that's 10 times. So it's like, that's 20,000 per coin because I'm pretty sure you gained 2,000 originally. So that must be 20,000 if I'm not mistaken. I probably am, but we don't talk about that. Okay, so that was it for the marriage side of things. Now let's look at the artifact. So. If you go to Artifact here, on Friday, should be out, but I'm not too sure, but it is going to come out soon. You're going to have this, and this is amazing. So, it is just a normal Artifact, and you will have a, a dungeon here. You can see here the uh, Explore Flame Temple. You will have to open a key, and the higher level you go, the higher chance will there be uh, to getting some... What's it called? Some rare rewards, of course. So we can go into this. We can you can check all the attribute bonuses that you'll gain. You can click change where you get into like this whole thing here where you have to figure out what kind of type you need, what position they're in. And like all of these, like these are just random things. I'm pretty sure these are random stats that you're going to gain where you have to think, really think about like what your, you want for your account and what your account needs. Of course, I will probably, I maybe I'll be spending for this event. I'm not so sure how much you will actually be able to spend to get this, but I will be going to do it as soon as possible and I'll make a video on it. So if I make any mistakes, you guys will see it and then hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. And you can see here, this is not for the uh, how good they are. This is for each uh, spot. So we can see this one spot is for here. Let's wait, two spot. Wow, wait, they're going the other way. Wait, one there, two there, three there, and then four is there, five, and then six. Whoa, okay, that's confusing. Why wouldn't they just do clockwise? Okay, fair enough. But that is what you're going to be doing. And... In order to get these, that is from the dungeon, you will not have to buy anything or anything like that, but you will have to get lucky. And this, so that is why, because when you do complete a dungeon, you will gain 
a few. I think it's a few. I'm not sure. It has to be a few at random. And there's specific uh, chances to get the rarer the item, you, you know, the lower the chances. So doing that, you will have to get lucky. So hopefully on the main account, just like the Soul Prayer event, just like the Pal event, and hopefully this event, we can get extremely lucky and get some good stuff where everybody will just say, what? Wow. How? So we are hoping. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Remember to use code Muji in the App Twitch store if you plan on spending. This event on Friday is going to be as insane. Their first collaboration. Hoping there's going to be a lot of rewards. Even for free to play or low spinners, I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of rewards. So remember to save money and support me a little bit. Use code Muji. It is going to bypass the, the Apple tax, which is insane. And it will save you and give you some cash back in order to use in the future purchases. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.